member berries. Uh, this is the first episode of, of um, f during the 2016 election year. Um, in a pretty, pretty funny season, okay? Think about the satire here. Think about um, subjecting, you know, candidates to scatological humor and the grotesque and the carnivalesque, you know? Um, and you can see here that, you know, again, when you think of Matt and Trey as libertarian, you know, philosophically or maybe even voting-wise, you know, uh, how do they rip into Trump here? And specifically, like, you know, like Mr. Garrison is representing Trump and, you know, his ridiculous claims, campaign claims, you know, of, you know I'm going to build a wall, I'm going to do this and that, and they, they relate that fuck them all to death, <laughs> uh, you know, which is pretty funny. But um, I think it's pretty interesting how they relate Trump's campaign and all the promises and MAGA, make, make America great again, and all, all that stuff, how they sort of um, lampoon that is through the member berries, you know? And so if you kind of look at that um, as like these, you know, bits of nostalgia, right? And it's, oh, remember Luke Skywalker? You know, just, you know, remember all these things? And then it's like, remember when there weren't so many Mexicans? Oh, I remember. Remember when marriage was just between a man and a woman? I remember. Oh, I remember. Oh, yeah. Remember feeling safe? Remember no ice? Remember Reagan? Oh, I remember. Oh, remember. It kind of gets to like, you know, a lot of the tactics that Trump, Trump used that he was critiqued for um, by the left, you know, racist claims, uh, sexist claims. Uh, remember Ronald Reagan? You know, all these, all these things that the member berries reflect. Those are sort of analogy to, um, you know, uh, you know, what Trump was saying made America great, right? Which he thought was in in the eighties, uh, which was probably his heyday um, in. in in the world, uh, but the member berries represent those some of those promises and some of those tactics and uses use of nostalgia uh, to to really uh, appeal to his base and pander to um, you know um, a lot of people's uh, crusty old white values that kind of stem from that 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 era. And there's definitely an allusion here to um, maybe I'll I'll post a little clip to uh, Amy Schumer's. Um, uh, my vagina uh, comedy routine, um, which you know South Park they definitely ri definitely rip on her. Don't think she's very funny, um, but yeah. So I don't know. Watch this and just kind of think about some of the things here. Obviously, we have um, you know uh, a rip on J.J. Abrams for um, you know he's gonna just like he had rebooted Star Wars, like he's gonna reboot the national anthem, and obviously we have a, a big parody on the NFL controversy over kneeling um, and uh, you know Colin Kaepernick and what you kind of have is you know uh, Mr. Garrison who who's like I mean the whole arc of the season is Mr. Garrison finds himself running for office he's in the race he doesn't think he can do it he doesn't want to do it so he tries to do everything as ridiculous as possible to not get elected. And so his whole thing was, you know, when the national anthem plays at the end, like, he's not going to stand. You know, he's going he's gonna to kneel, um, you know, and then maybe everybody will hate him and, and won't want him in president. But then J.J. Abrams, you know, his reboot gives you the choice. You know, think about libertarianism, a choice to stand um, or Neil. So just again, watch this. Think about some of the things that we talk about in terms of democracy, in terms of um, politicians, in terms of um, you know open and closed societies, the paradox of tolerance, um, and some political philosophies. Um, we kind of try to synthesize these three episodes. If you're feeling really juicy, um, take take a shot at um, at um, OGs. I think that's a good one um, to watch as well. Um, but yeah, member berries classic or could be a classic in a lot of ways um, and I, I just like how they kind of um, use that as sort of an analogy for for um, you know the pandering to this sort of probably harmful let's say um, nostalgias um, you know but it's it's a pretty uh, a funny satire on that so anyways 
Week four is over. We're moving on to week five. We're going to keep it live here in Cine 399, South Park and Society. Hope you're well. Enjoy your weekend. And let's check in on uh, our Monday happy hours. Hope you can make it 5 p.m. every Monday. All right, y'all. I'm going to get back to my bees and uh, or potential bees. And I will catch you on the flip. The real Dr. Dre. I'm out. Peace.